hello everyone welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to render 3d models in react native's new architecture without any third party library so if you remember i have already made a video about this both for android and ios and for android i was facing some issues fortunately i was i am able i was like i am able to resolve that issue and so this video is only about android if you are curious about ios uh, you can uh, check my previous video uh so yeah uh, let's get started and also uh, one bonus thing that i will also show you how to render animations for your 3d model as well so first of all i will show you guys the output so i'm not sure how good the output is but here on my screen you can see a gltf or a glb i should say a glb is like a binary file for gltf uh, of a fox uh, animating so i hope it is okay uh, in uh, visually i'm not sure how good it will be uh, but anyways uh, as you can see like i'm able to render it pretty quickly like on my real device i'm able to sh uh, render it uh, really nicely and for testing you will uh, require a real android device uh, don't test it on emulator it might work or it might not work uh, next thing is uh, where to get these gltf models so firstly you can either ask your designer or you can ask uh, like uh, search open source uh, like search just search for uh, search on google like gltf models so i already have this github repository called uh, gltf sample models slash 2.0 so we require gltf version 2 and here you will find a ton of uh, gltf uh, models from which uh, you can uh, test your application with so if you check this 2d cylinder engine you will have to select this gltf binary okay whichever model you choose make sure it is in dot glb format uh, there are if it, if it is isn't in a gl uh, suppose uh, i want this model okay so it is same thing so it but it has two files dot gltf and dot bin so you can just search for how to convert gltf to glb and it will uh, like there are online tools which i have searched for you can just do a google search but typically it should be in .glb format you can select any uh, 3d model which you want uh, next thing is uh, how will i know what animations my fox has so i had shown you a uh, running animation right but here uh, i'm displaying it inside a web application uh, here it it is not running so what you can do is you can just drag and drop your uh, gltf to a website called gltf dash viewer dot dawn mc uh, like uh, just uh, search for uh, gltf viewer on uh, google uh, th uh, that would be the first website just drag and drop your uh, drag and drop your glb file and uh, here you can see inside animation it actually tells you okay so this fox has three animations okay so uh, but uh, while uh, using it inside our application uh, it would start from zero i will tell you exactly where it is so i will sh just show you now so here you can see the animation count you inside animation count you can pass 0 1 or 2 so th this is for this particular fox so if you are using a 3d model which has more animation you can pass those as well suppose uh, now uh, this fox has only three animation right so 0 1 and 2 and if you pass 3 or 4 uh, then that is already handled inside my code like i won't render any kind of animation if you give an uh, index out of bounds uh, kind of thing so that is already handled and i have also shown you how to uh, get the animation so let's get started like i have just created a react native application next what you will have to do you will have to enable new work so just search for new work uh, and inside gradle dot properties uh, inside android gradle dot properties you just have to make this as true next uh, uh, we will be making use of fabric so firstly go to build.gradle add this kotlin version as well as add this class path next go to app build.gradle uh, add this implementation kotlin standard lib okay as well as you will have to add apply plugin kotlin android next uh, you will have to create this folder called rtn 3d renderer uh, next inside that first create this package.json file and again i have just copy pasted it from the docs so if you want you can uh, go to the react native documentation over here and inside fabric native components you can just copy paste all the required docs which you want and i have just copy pasted all the docs but this name is changed what to whatever folder name you have given this is changed as well as this is changed 
next created a pod spec file we don't really need a pod spec file this is io specific but anyways just create it and just change this name as well and everything else is copied from docs next create a js folder and inside that i have created this rtn 3d render and native component dot is again the file name is important make sure you name it same and here again i have just copy pasted everything from doc only the url prop will differ so here i am set, uh, setting a url so this uh, could be anything like uh, like it could be either and you know you might upload your uh, glb model on s3 and i am using firebase so inside firebase storage you can just upload your 3d model if you want then i require file name with extension this is important because what i am doing is uh, given that we are downloading the 3d model from network once it is downloaded and if you send the same file name it will be it will use the cache version it won't download it again so suppose you gave uh, the file name with extension as fox.glb and later on you decided to change the url make sure you change the file name with extension as well otherwise it will keep showing the same uh, 3d model next the animation count and this name has been changed everything else remains the same next inside android i have created this build.gradle file again this is copied from docs only changes this apply plugin kotlin android and i have added this kotlin standard lib as well next i have added uh, these two dependencies so this is uh, a filament which is a 3d engine uh, helping us to render 3d models and this is for retrofit because we need to download the 3d model from network and uh, android x life cycle is just a life cycle dependency for coroutines life cycle scope next inside src main i have created these two assets uh, so uh, this uh, venetian crossroads so why this is used because we need a background so if you just check the output uh, so here i'm not sure how good the output is but in the background you might be seeing uh, like there is some light uh, otherwise uh, if you don't do this uh, your 3d model uh, won't have proper light and it might be completely black and you might be confused why my 3d model is not rendering now from where to get this file so what you will have to do is you will have to go to uh, a google filament uh, repository next go to docs go to webgl and inside that venetian crossroad underscore 2k and from here you can download this files so i have just added it to inside our assets next inside java com rtn 3d renderer first i have created this uh, interface so this is required by retrofit to download anything from the network so i have just defined this next inside 3d renderer.kt i will come back to this so next i have defined a 3d render package again this is copied from docs and only this names has been changed this this has been changed everything else remains the same next i have created 3d renderer manager.kt and again this has been copied from docs only this name has been changed this has been changed this name has been changed and here i am taking three uh, props right url file name as well as animation index uh, that's why i have created these variables and again this has been copied from docs only file name has been changed and i have created three methods for our uh, props so this is first url and i'm setting it to our prop url and once we get all the three things like prop url prop file name as well as the animation index then only i'm calling this setup method so this setup method is defined inside 3d renderer.kt okay same thing over here same thing over here as well so you and i have defined this url parts file uh, data class as well because uh, with retrofit it requires a base url uh, that's why i have to deconstruct my url into two strings like one is the base url and uh, rest is the second one is the rest of the urls next inside over here i have defined 3d renderer.kt so uh, to be honest like even i don't understand much of it so you can just uh, copy paste it i will try to explain whatever i can so first just copy all this imports next uh, i have defined our class and i am extending linear layout as well as we require the lifecycle event listener as well uh, here we are initializing our filament library next i have defined three variables uh, for our props url file name and animation index now this is boilerplate code form filament like even i don't understand this 
this is for our path and file because we will be caching the 3d model and this is the life cycle scope for calling coroutine code and here i have added this life cycle event listener like make sure you add this like i have wasted a lot of time uh like figuring out why it wasn't working and later on i realized i forgot to add this line of code next i have defined a layout params for our linear layout then we are initializing surface view adding it to our layout params as well as adding it to our linear layout then again this is boilerplate code which i have just copied from the filament documentation then this is the setup so this is the method which gets called and if everything is not empty first we are downloading our model then we are creating indirect light and configuring our viewer so first we are creating our path so just creating our file uh, 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 inside our internal storage we are creating this file and here we are splitting this url because you are, again like i told you retrofit requires base url as well as rest of the url that's why i uh, have done this so this is not uh, related to 3d models as such next here we are downloading the model so first i am checking if there is a model with such name inside our internal directory if yes then just return that model if not here this is the code for retrofit for downloading the model and this is how we save the file to our internal storage and this is the download gltf uh, method so we are just uh, converting our file to bytes and then we are just sending that bytes to this create default renderer method and this is how you load uh, your gltf model and you have to call this again update root and transform I'm, I'm not sure what this is and here we have to configure viewer again i think this is mostly related to you know this background and all that stuff uh, lightning and all that stuff again i'm not really sure and here we are so this is related to lightning and here you can see that we are actually reading this uh, background file which we have added in the assets if you change the name of the file make sure you change it over here as well otherwise you will face issues next i am just uh, doing read comp compressed asset and here we have defined a frame callback so here we are exactly actually playing the animation and i have added a check if you are passing some random values for animation which is not present inside your gltf model so that is handled and you this won't ever get called but this is how the animation works and this uh, on host resume we just have to call post frame callback and on pause we have to remove it so now before running what you will have to do you will have to add this you open your terminal go to the root of your react native project run this command then you will have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project then you will have to run this command but in this command make sure your project name is changed my project name is rnf so change it over here over here as well as over here next you will have to cd to your android folder main android folder and then run this uh, once everything is done you can just import the file so uh, this library something like this and just use rt and 3d renderer and this url is not correct so don't try to copy this url make sure you use your own url and just use an animation count uh, i think zero would be fine for every model just to be on the safer side and just give some style and uh, style and here a file name with extension is fox.glb uh, so make sure you pass the extension as well and in case you are changing the url make sure you change the file name as well otherwise you will get a uh, stale data i think that should be it uh, yeah thanks for watching bye